Hi everyone, Adam here, and this is Flashback Saturday and part of Horror Down Under. Flashback Saturday is a challenge created by Joe the Horror Man, where each week he gives us a theme to watch a slasher film with that theme. And this week's theme was uh, animals. They didn't have to be the main feature of it, but as long as there was animals in there. And I chose Wolf Creek 2, and there's actually quite a few animals in there believe it or not. And here's the tally. Three goats, two dogs, one goanna, uh, several kangaroos, too many to count, one horse. So yeah, there's quite a few animals in Wolf Creek 2. And of course, Wolf in the title, obviously. And this was released in 2014. It runs for 106 minutes. That is the director's cut. And once again, directed by Greg McLean, who directed the original. Set several years after the original Wolf Creek, John Jarrett returns as Mick Taylor, the xenophobic serial killer who wants to eradicate tourists. And he seems to be very good at his job. Okay, before I start the synopsis, I'll put it out there. Spoiler alert, just in case. And in this one, we meet a couple of German backpackers, Katrina and Rutka, travelling across the outback. But after camping in a national park, they come across Mick Taylor, who tells them it's illegal, and offers them a lift back into town, which they politely refuse, and which Mick, well, gets a little ticked off by it, leaving even Rutka dead and Katrina in the clutches of Mick Taylor. After Katrina escapes, she comes across Paul, who's an English tourist who tries to save her and let's just say it doesn't go that well. A cat and mouse game with Mick and Paul starts, uh, yeah, and let's just say it's not going to be good for Paul. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the plot, I uh, just don't want to give too much away. But this one is kind of different in the way that Mick Taylor wasn't introduced until halfway through the original. This one, this is basically his movie, the character of Mick Taylor, which of course John Jarrett plays pretty well again. Whereas the first one was really a slow burn, there's a bit more of an action feel to this movie. There's some scenes that wouldn't look out of place in an action movie. The first one, they have an Australian actor playing an English character. Uh, I think Ryan Cole does a pretty good job. I'm not sure if it's 100% a good British accent. I'll have to ask someone who's actually British, but I think it's pretty good. And this does what most sequels do. Um, okay, they give a lot more screen time to the main villain, which makes sense. Uh, the gore factor is, uh, well, a lot more than the first one, believe it or not. And unlike the first one, which was actually filmed on digital video, this is filmed in... What's the aspect ratio? Just give me one look. 2.35.1, so it's in widescreen uh, aspect ratio, of course using the Outback, and it looks good. I think Greg McLean has matured as a director in this one, and it'd be interesting to see what he does next. I know some people weren't a big fan of the slow build-up of the original Wolf Creek, and that's fair enough, I didn't mind it, but this one pretty much just gets straight to the action. I mean, this is Mick Taylor's movie, John Jarrett is in almost every scene. In the first one, is it better than the first one? In some ways it is. Uh, I think it's a better made movie, and there's a lot more action. I do enjoy this one. I think it's a pretty good continuation of Mick Taylor's story. Okay, I'm going to finish up right there. This has been Slashback Saturday, Horror Down Under. I'm Adam, and I'll see you again soon.